62 Impala. We're going to um, fix this messed up uh, trunk floor. So he had a sound system and like subwoofers in the back and basically this floor just flexed and uh, basically cracked here, broke that section and cracked here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind all this. Um, it was like a truck bed liner and stuff, coating. Uh, we're gonna grind all that off, get it to bare metal. I'm gonna make a plate from here all the way to this side. Um, and then it'll move all the way down here with like fingers, basically um, making this more rigid because you can see it's all flexing. So, um, shit falling. Um, but yeah, so let's see how it goes. All right, so we're scraping the bottom of the Impala floor. Looks like they put some like truck bed coating on it. So we gotta scrape it off in order to weld the plate to it to stiffen up the, the body. But you can tell it's super hard to get off. So once this is done, we can make a plate, a gusset for it and weld it in. All right, so I ground down the areas around the cracks um, and so I tack some spots with the weld MIG welder. So that's what it's going to look like when it's welded. And then I got to sand it down, make it smooth. And then I'll reinforce, um, underneath. And then once this is all done, I can, uh, make a plate for this, fill this in and then, um, yeah, but I gotta weld it in sections because if I um, get it too hot, it'll warp and it won't sit right, so. Yep, that's what I'm doing. All right, so we got the floor welded up. I made a plate that fits pretty good. So I just gotta wind, wind <laughs> grind the welds down um, and then it should be good. And then we had to cut some more of this um, Dynamat out so that when we weld the plate on the bottom, it doesn't smoke and catch on fire and do whatever. But I had to put this fiberglass blanket over all the nice parts back here in the carpet so that no sparks fly when I MIG weld it. But yeah, so I'm gonna go underneath and weld this plate on that we made. So I'll show you what it looks like when we get it on the, the floor. All right, so everything's pretty much done. I just have to grind these welds on the top. But you can see where the uh, where I welded on the bottom side, but it's a lot uh, stiffer now and it's flat. So it should be really strong and should never happen again, so. Looks good. So I'll grind this down and show you what the bottom looks like. Right, so I got it sanded. I didn't take the weld all the way down because I want some strength there. Um, but we're going to cover it with Dynamat anyway, so you're not going to be able to see it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much all gone. But there's still some, some meat there, so it doesn't ever crack again. All right, so we got the plate mocked up. Got some spot welds done. Looks pretty good to me. So I'm waiting for it to cool down and then I'm going to stitch weld it uh, here, skip, and then do another one and then weld it back here. And basically repeat that the whole way. And then I'll do some stitch welding back there too. All right, so the Impala, the Impala is finished now. Andrew went ahead and adjusted the exhaust. So now it it clears the bag by a decent amount. Yeah, before it was rubbing on it. So they put heat um, header wrap on it. Yeah. Um, you could, I don't know where it's at. It's right there. Right here, oh yeah, so it was rubbing. Um, 
but it was also hot, so it was kind of burning it a little bit. Yeah, so. But now, Not clear, I so. moved it away. I cut it here, moved it away, and then added that section. So. And then, what else did we do? Did both sides, obviously. And then we had to repair the floor. We made this bracket, or I, don't, I guess you can call it a bracket. It's a, a brace. Brace or reinforcement plate here. And uh, that is supposed to basically support the floor. Keep it from being a membrane. Yeah, basically at oil canning. Yeah. Um, so did you, sh yeah, you show the, the piece before, right? Yep. Yeah, so that's it with the trunk spray, not trunk spray, but the- uh, There's a, a hole in- Rubberized under cutting? Yeah, there's a hole in it too, so I had to patch that up. Oh yeah, yeah, so that, that's-, that's So that, the, that covers it on the bottom too. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty sturdy. Yeah. Now? So that's cool. And then you did blood the brakes. Yep, blood the brakes. And we shortened the axles, obviously. I saw that video. And then, uh, uh, new the oh yeah, new setting in the tank. So that's done. Now it reads, reads right. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else on the bottom or is that it? Um, I went over all the bolts to make sure they're all tight. Tight. Then, uh, okay. Good stuff. Uh, and then we did just the... Oh yeah, for the drive shaft. Yeah, because it was binding up. So that's done. But yeah, okay. All right, let's check, take a look at the top. And then, uh... <coughs> thing takes forever to lower. All right, this is the top side. You can see the pattern from the, the reinforcements. And then the big chunk that was missing right in the center. So that's finished. Yeah, before the plate, it was all wavy too. Yeah. So welding it up... Um, it made, it, made well. it pretty flat as well. So yeah, now it's really reinforced, so it shouldn't have any problems in the future. But that's what it looks like. And so then they're gonna put dynamite back yeah. over it. We didn't grind the welds down completely because it's gonna be covered anyway and it adds strength, so. Yeah, you don't wanna make it weak too thin, to where so. it breaks again. But yeah, so it's done. So now it's gonna go off to get the, the trim put back on it and um, the glass, I think, and that's it, so. Next, we're going to get it, uh, I think, I don't know what your cutlass is, maybe 72 or 70? I can't, I, I don't remember. But that's going to be the next project. We'll be here tomorrow or Monday, Monday. or Tuesday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Cool. All right.